is the energy vibration reading for the month of August I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back yes I'm back on camera um, the monthly readings will be done on cameras and other readings um, but um, the rest of the weekly readings are going to just um, um, be um, just the a photo of the image of the cards okay um, and this is because um, um, we were guided that um, it's very important for you guys to work with the image of the card because it's uh, the changing and the energy of this planet it's uh, um, the image on the camera uh, on the cards uh, actually activate your um, consciousness okay so um, um, at, at sometimes um, sometimes the angels and guides will certain information um, they want certain information to be out and this is how they basically work when they ask us to change up so if you realize how many times I have basically changed up the form of the reader and it's because um, they will need to get some form of information out okay so I'm doing the stand in this one too, um, um, and I want to start with um, first of all thank you for being here thank you for being back as this is your first time thank you for supporting my channel I want to say to each and every person this is going to be a wonderful positive uh, um, month um, the energy of this month is an earth energy um, we have the energy of uh, um, balance coming up and in the first two and a half weeks it's going to be fire the second the um, two and a half weeks it's going to be earth okay so this is good I love the month of August I guess everybody loves the month of August it's all about vacation and that sort of a thing um as general energy um we have five weeks okay and you guys are working with a magician in the month of august this is wonderful this is positive this is wonderful this is good um working with the energy of the magician because you carry the energy of the magician so for you gemini's um um you know this is one of the best last month for you guys for you Gemini's this is one of the best last month for you guys because what is gonna be happening in this month for you Gemini's is not um, ex don't expect it to happen all the time okay so I think it's time for coffee <laughs> okay so um we are going to be dealing um, um, and we are going to be looking at the weeks um, we have um, five weeks and go back and listen to the, the general energies please remember to subscribe and please remember to share these videos okay thank you so so much I love you Gemini so much okay so let's see what is going to be coming in for the month of August for you Gemini so three of ones you have to go back and look at the last week of July reading to see why is the energy three of ones coming up some of you are waiting for your ship to come in uh, and you know your ship is about to come in your Gemini's cuz yes you are waiting for your ship to come in and it's gonna come in it's like I'm waiting why is it taking so long so <laughs> it's that sort of a thing okay all right um second week you have the energy of the general energy of the month so you have to wait a little bit more you Gemini so it's as if some of you were like oh that bloody ship that it broke down again you know that sort of a thing and you were waiting and you still have to wait in the second week so you have the two first weeks which is fire you guys are hair sign to fire okay the third week third week you guys have the eye princess water sign well this is even better okay this is your first major arcana and in the third week you have the eye princess so it's as if some of you are waiting waiting for something okay it's as if you manifest something in your life and you're like because this is the energy okay I love this I love this uh, this deck it is so fabulous and yes it's um, a deck from Sadie so thanks Sade. Um, so yes um, 
three of ones okay so look at you you're taking out your your watch and looking at the time and think when is this gonna happen and then the eye princess comes in and said hold on okay did what you manifest is it what's supposed to come in this is another water energy and a lot of people have been receiving the hangman in reverse she because the eye princess comes up in the third week and she's saying hold a minute um how is this going to help you what you have manifest is that what you need to be is that the place that you need to be you know and here you're seeing the energy of the hangman coming in okay and then the last and fifth week the energy of the ace of cups is in reverse okay i don't know what is happening with you guys because it's supposed to be a very fabulous week. So anyway, let's look and see what exactly is going to be going on. Because a lot of you air sign receiving the Ace of Cups in reverse, whatever the situation is. Um, this is second time and I've shuffled the deck so much. So let's see what is happening. Three of Wands and Temperance. Three of Wands and Temperance is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you have been waiting on some money to come in. Okay, some of you are waiting for some money to come in. Um, and yes, yeah, some of you are really waiting on some money to come in. Okay, let's see what Temperance and the I'm Princess is saying. Um, the Queen of Cups. Now, why is she here and why is she blocking this money? Who is this Queen of Cups and why is she blocking the money? We're going to be looking at that. Then the Eye Prince and the Angman, because these are two major arcana that is working with emotion. One is saying, is this what you need to be doing? And the second one is saying, um, and the second one is saying, um, who is this person? Okay, so we know who is this queen of cups she's blocking your money okay i want to say to you guys call upon the angels and guides to remove the spicy cancer or scorpion who is blocking your money just call upon the agents and guides who um and ask them to come in to remove whoever this person is it's an evil wicked person you know and you know it's time just call upon the angels and guides and said Whoever this cancer lady is, whoever the spicy is cancer or scorpion, and I said cancer lady, so it could be cancer for some people. Please remove her out of this dimension and in all dimension of time away from me, okay? It's as if this money was supposed to be paid out and this money was supposed to come to you, but this bloody woman is blocking you. Then we have the energy of the Queen of Pentacles coming up, okay? So it's as if the Queen of Pentacles was supposed to send you some money. But this bloody woman, and I'm getting a cancer for some of you, that this bloody evil wicked woman is, is, is basically blocking you. And call upon the angels and guides so that um, she can be removed, okay? Just call upon the angels and guides and said, whoever is blocking my financial flow, please remove them out of this dimension of time and other dimension of time, okay? Let's see, Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Those buggers are working together. <sighs> yeah, I told you. I told you because the energy of the lovers come out for these two but you know what is good is um, it can be um, one of you Gemini's or in relationship with the Queen of Cups or one of you or um, um, some of you are in relationship with the Queen of Cups some of you are in relationship with the Knight of Pentacles okay um, but um, I am really not liking these two people I don't like the Queen of Cups because um, I'm receiving the message that she's working negative energies. She dabbles in the negative world. Um, she is working negative energies. She, you know, and if you're a Gemini and you're with uh, someone who's a Cancer, um, this is a message for someone who is a Gemini and you're with a Cancer. Release yourself from a relationship that you're having a, with a Cancer. This woman is sick okay this woman is nasty this woman works with negative energies you need to understand who you are and where you are at you were not supposed to be in a relationship with someone like this this is what I'm getting from your guides I can't do anything <laughs> okay okay there we are 
you're gonna be victorious and successful getting rid of this woman yeah do you see this do you see this people and this is what I'm saying and this is how I do my reading this is how um, I channel because I basically channel because I don't think about anything I just I'm, I'm just really calm and everything I don't get in arguments and that sort of a thing I can't do it so I just carve myself before I do my readings and there there it is you're gonna be victorious and successful you're gonna finally get rid of this person because you have been waiting and the second week you have been waiting this woman is as if she's blocking you and then you know and you're and you just speak out to the universe and tell the universe what to do remove this woman in this lifetime and all lifetime to come she will never ever block your financial flow because this person is a nasty person okay she's very nasty she's not really um, liking you you might be in a relationship and you're going to get married to her don't do it okay there's a new offer that is coming in for you um, and it's an offer in work uh, it's an offer in work there is an offer um, in work and money coming in to you um, this offer think about this offer it's going to be a good offer um, I would say go for it and if you are with a cancer and you need to release yourself go for the work and leave the cancer behind okay nasty um, and and you know and there are certain people who really works with black magic or deal with black magic or and and these people now Ugh. Um, sorry I'm, I'm, I'm like what you see is what you get I don't deal with that sort of a thing we know that there's positive energy and negative energy and if you have to do something against other people to keep other people back there there's something definitely wrong with you okay and, and yeah so and, and you Gemini's are just so different okay um, the lovers and the ace of sword the knight of cups the lovers and the ace of sword the knight of cups so some of you are very much right about the situation that is going on okay I am seeing um, and you know um, that you know you are connected with the cancers it's kind of weird that you're connected with the cancers because basically you should not but I can understand because you and the cancers carries the energy of the Gemini okay it it, it it can be a cancer but it can be a Pisces or a scorpion but what I'm receiving and what I'm picking up for someone out there is that you're dealing with a cancer woman and it's not one of the most positive person um, you know you need to end this relationship okay a new offer a new love offer is going to be coming in for you take this new love offer okay because um, this lady you should not have been in the relationship let's see what else is coming out justice 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 is coming out what is coming out justice is coming out okay there is a lot of story here I am going to start doing extended readings for the people who wants to hear the extended because um, you know we're not having especially with a five week there is so many information especially with this there's so many information that is coming out okay justice is coming you're gonna be winning um, if some of you had a situation with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you are going to overcome the situation you're going to win and win big time because justice is in the upright position she is going to be readied her Psalms and that is good for her okay apparently I think I should stand up all the time when I'm doing readings <laughs> okay all right okay let's look at something which is very important so whoever this lady was the cancer or Pisces or a scorpion you're gonna justice is going to be right for her so she's gonna be out of your life bye um, for the people who have been waiting for their ship to come in waiting for something and it has to do with money and it, it could be money for some people but it could be a relationship it could be that um, someone is coming to visit you who you have met and you're waiting for this person to come in so and this person is going to be coming in in the second week okay some of you ladies is going to be connecting with someone who is uh, 
and Pisces cancer or scorpion some of you are going to be connecting with someone who is a Pisces cancer or scorpion okay um, if you're in relationship with the um, or you're in business with someone the Knight of Cups who is a Pisces cancer or scorpion there could be justice or there could be a red um, reading of something it's as if he has a case a case it's as if he has a case in court and it could be um uh, yeah that he has a case in court because I'm seeing something with him and justice okay okay justice a new offer is going to be coming in okay mm, justice a new offer is going to be coming in from the queen of Pent pentacles and I'm saying go for it I am saying go for it okay New offer is going to come in by the Queen of from the Queen of Pentacles. I am saying basically go for it. Whatever is happening, you Gemini's are going to have a victorious successful over the um, Queen of Cups. And the outcomes for you, Gemini's. The energy of the sun. I love you, Gemini's. So success is coming for you Gemini's if you Gemini's had a lawsuit with someone uh, success and love is coming good business partners um, some of you could be connecting with the Capricorns in business partner because our offer is coming from her um, but the energy of the Sun is here some of you could be connecting with um, um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay and this is the energy the outcomes of the month is going to be the energy of uh, um, the star okay uh, that's the the Sun there's a lot of success there's a lot of new promotion um, for you Gemini's in this month okay so that was beautiful and um, I'm I will try to see if I can do an extended reading I have to figure out how um, um, what platform I'm going to do an extended reading on and then I can send you guys to that platform okay alrighty let's see what's happening okay we are doing um, the readings for everyone so we're starting with the people ages 15 15 until 30 and we're looking um, 15 until 30 and we're looking to see what is going to be happening for you guys um, 15 until 30 what is going to be happening in your general life 15 till 30 we have the nine of swords so you Gemini between the ages of 15 and 30 um, in general you're going to be um, um, in the and in, in the sense that either you're thinking too much because you're a Gemini's you're a sword sign you're thinking too much this is not worried this is thinking too much you need to get out of your head the people between the ages of 15 and 30 needs to get out of them head uh, get out of your head in the month of August let's see what is happening for work and career we have the eye princess the high princess so some of you are going to be studying um, the spirit world or trying um, um, some of you are going to be connecting with your spirit guide and listening more to your spirit guides and this is maybe why you're so in your head because um, the eye princess comes up so um, some of you are going to be listening more to your spirit guides instead of talking to people so you're going to find yourself being alone and connecting with your spirit guides because uh, some of you are working some of you if either you're working you're going to be connecting with your inner uh, spiritual guides because you're very quiet when you're working you Gemini's and let's see what's the outcome for love outcomes for love is the hermit okay so you are um, you people between the ages of uh, um, 15 and 30 you're really thinking do I really want a relationship is this person the right person for me it is a month of August where you're going to be meeting so many people seeing so many people and the ones who are in relationship are going to think 
uh, am I in the right relationship? Is the, the relationship that I need to be in and that sort of a thing? And then you're going to make a decision whether or not you're going to be staying in that relationship. Okay, we're moving forward to the people between the, uh, the age group of 30 and 40. What is happening in general for you guys? You have the energy of the five of pentacles so the people between the ages of the 30 and 40 in general you're gonna have in a financial situation um, it could be our ship some of you are in our ship but some of you are going to be in some financial situation that is going to affect you okay because I'm seeing crying I'm seeing crying I'm seeing you're crying over a financial situation okay so um, okay let's look and see what is the situation that is going to be happening in work and career for you Gemini's uh, the three of hats so work and career are good it's just that the hardship is not with the financial situation the hardship is that maybe um, you're not in love there is no one um, you're feeling out in the cold but it has nothing to do with money because you you have work you you are and, and it could be some people um, have financial problems and some people are feeling as if they're left out in the cold and this with a work and study situation is going to be very good because you're celebrating so a lot of you are going to be passing your exam a lot of people are going to be finding the right study a lot of people are going to be connecting with the right people at work and a lot of people are going to be having new work and positive um, outcomes okay I'm seeing a celebration going on there for work so it's good um, people are working and connecting uh, together so work and career for you Gemini's between the ages of 30 and 40 is going to be good as we look at love for the Gemini 30 and for between the ages of 30 and 40 you have the eight, the eight of Pentacles the eight of Pentacles so a lot of you have to work on your relationship Gemini's if you have if you if you really have whatever you have whatever relationships you have um, you need you really need to work on your relationship whatever the situation is is that you really need to work on your relationship whatever is happening you really need to work on your relationship okay so for you guys you really really need to work on your relationship okay so we're moving forward we're looking at the energies of the latest 40 and older what is going to be happening in their lives strength yep latest 40 and older you need strength because this unicorn is going to <laughs> you need to have strength in the month of August because you did something that is backfiring on you okay some of you ladies over the ages of 40 did something that is about to backfire on you and you need to find inner strength okay as we go on we're looking at the energy for career career and um, um, career and work for the Gemini ladies over the ages of 40 career and work Gemini ladies over the age of 40 eight so um, 88 is infinity abundance but 88 um, his hair whatever the situation is with your work so obviously some of you ladies over the age of 40 did something that you're going to be caught up on at your work so you Gemini's over the age of 40 there's something that you did that is going to caught upon you at your work um, work and career is not looking well it is the eight of swords you're not seeing something clearly okay as we move forward we're looking at the energy for love for the Gemini's over the, the lady Gemini over the age of 40 um, there is um, uh, the love that is coming in it is the love of you learning to love yourself and going to 
um, be able to start something for yourself. It's about learning to love yourself. Whatever the energy of the pentacles comes up is you're going back to ground. You're going back to, um, you know, the basics and you're going to start over and you're going to start for yourself and you're going to start loving for yourself because you need to love yourself enough to know that you need to depend on yourself to bring in whatever the materialistic gains that you need to bring in you are going to um, go in within yourself to balance this out okay so um, as we move forward and we're moving on um, we're looking at the energy vibration um, for the men over 40 in general what is going to be happening to the men over 40 in general you have the six of Pentacles some of you are going to receive help so some of you men over 40 um, in general you are going to be receiving some help in the month of August okay so let's look at the energy for um, the career and work for the men over 40 in August there is a wheel of fortune so this is good work and career wheel of fortune this is good for you men over 40 and you know you Gemini's um, you always save and you always have money and money is coming in um, money is going to be coming in um, via career um, promotion but it can also be money that you're winning okay um, it's in the, 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 the career because it's coming in could be extra um, payout from your work and that sort of a thing so it could be extra payout from your work that is coming in some of you could have left to work in the month before and extra payout is coming in from um, work and career okay let's see what is up then in love for you Gemini's over the age of 40 you man uh, two of Pentacles you need to make a decision about a relationship you really need to make a decision about a relationship it's all about going back to base you need to make a um, um, you men really need to make um, a decision over a relationship because what is happening basically is that uh, nine of cups what is happening um, basically is that um, whatever you were planning whatever um, that you decided to do and that sort of a thing what is going to be happening is that uh, there is going to be um, a, a position where new things and new situation is going to be coming in your life okay and then you really 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 need to make a decision okay so whatever the situation is and that sort of a thing you really need to make a decision it could be some of you have two different partners and you need to make a decision what what partner are you going to be choosing okay so let's look at your animal spirit and see what is happening animal spirit and see um what is happening animal spirit let's see what is going to be happening with your animal spirit what is here for the Gemini's for August 2018 <gasps> the Buffalo I love the Buffalo I don't know I always love Buffalo I can just stand for hours looking at a Buffalo I don't know what it is I can just stand for hours looking at a Buffalo I think it's one of the most beautiful beautiful animals that as um, that walks the planet maybe I was a Buffalo in another lifetime so I think they're so um, beautiful I you know it is really 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 one of those beautiful things and see I found it so I guess I was about to um, Buffalo so um, each and every person was an animal before you be, before you become a human okay you need to learn this and understand this and yes it is a light bulb moment but guess what wake up grounded yet heavenly practical but yet spiritual I guess that's why I love the Buffalo the the wolves of the mighty Buffalo are grounded in the hurt yet it is heart and mind rise um, towards heaven the bluff the Buffalo seals challenges hardship or a bump in the road as an opportunity for upliftment 
I think I was a buffalo. I swear to God, the amount of bumps and blockage and stuff that I've seen and hate that people, and I, I you know, and that is it. I just can't understand why or people hating on me because everyone gets basically the same amount. To make your life good so why would you hate on someone else um therefore the buffalo doesn't fear debt illness or misfortune that's me i don't fear debt i'm ready when it's ready i don't fear illness and i don't fear misfortune because there's no misfortune let's face it people there is no misfortune because um, if there was misfortune, why is fortune? <laughs> that means it was meant to be. There is no misfortune. It's gently eyes look to the road ahead, trust in every turn. May we all experience this exclusive yet life changing bliss from time to time, and may we allow this card to remind us that life is a precious gift i love this deck i i have never used it it is uh, um this is from sadie and um you know I, i've never used this before but i'm loving it because my animal spirit says i need to start working with the animal spirit now my biggest problem is that, and don't laugh at me, I don't like going to the zoo. Okay, I just have a problem seeing animals being caught up in a cage and that sort of a thing. I just think I would not like that feelings. Okay, so don't laugh at me. I remember when I was living in Europe, um, my son came over and he loves the zoo. Of course, my son is an adult. And I said to my I said to my partner, can you please take my son to the zoo? Because I can't, I can't, it's like, I'm going to cry. I'm one of those people that cry at funerals. I cry at wedding. I cry at births. I don't know. I'm so sensitive. So I feel as if I was a buffalo in a lifetime before. And this is a month where you guys get to be and carry the energy of the buffalo. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful August. Namaste. Let me know how it is with the standing. I feel so much energetic and sitting. So I think this is, um, I'm going to use this step forward. Um, I love you guys. Namaste until next time.